There's nothing quite like fishing. The water is teeming with life, from the shoreline all the way to the depths of the ocean. Whether it's so-called trash fish like the saltwater catfish, or the prized hard-fighting sailfish, I'm a guy who loves feeling a tug at the end of my line. Join me in some of my many fishing adventures, and maybe you might even try bringing an unexpected catch home for dinner. Welcome to the Catfish Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be trying to eat, uh, well not trying to eat, we're going to eat a uh, sea robin. This is probably one of the ugliest fish I will ever attempt to eat. What's really weird about these things, they have these huge, huge pectoral fins here. Um, almost look like wings, but the craziest thing about this fish is, uh, look at these here. Look at this. They almost look like little legs. Isn't that creepy? They kind of use that to feel around the bottom. It's so weird. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, this kind of makes me a little bit queasy to even look at. Um, but uh, I'm just, I'm going to flay them. I know there's not a lot of meat, but I don't really want to fry it or cook it whole. So I'm just going to fillet them and skin them. All right. These guys have very spiky heads. Um, oh man, I don't even know where to start. This is so weird. All right, that's soft there. Ugh. Okay, that looks promising. Also, it looks like lizard fish meat. That already has me kind of shuddering. I mean, honestly, pretty straightforward to fillet, you know. They're not huge, but yeah. Skin it. Yeah, this looks just like lizard fish meat. That looks like lizard fish skin. I'm not really, I'm not looking forward to this. Ugh, boy. Just think of it as fish sticks. Maybe I'll be able to get through it. Meat's kind of mushy. There are some pin bones in it. I guess I'll try and cut them out. Not a, not really a bloodline though. So I guess that's exciting. Oh, that's mushy. But yeah, no, no bloodline there. So that's that's cool. That's something to look forward to a little bit, I, I suppose. Alright, there we have it. Sea Robin fillets. So here are the Sea Robin fillets again. They don't look too bad. They kinda... I've left them on ice for a day to let them firm up a little bit. And uh, yeah, they don't look too bad. They don't smell too bad either. So what I'm gonna do, uh, just like I do with most of the fish that I've never tasted before, is I'm just gonna cook them with a little bit of uh, salt, pepper, and butter. Just so we can kind of get an idea of what the flavor is. So I'll get the pan all heated up and let's try the sea robin out. So we've got it seasoned. Let's go ahead and put these fillets in the pan. They're going to cook up really fast. Let's 
smells pretty good uh, so far. Just smells like butter and fish, which is always a good combination. Here we are. Here's the sea robin. Cooked up real fast because it's small. All right. So, anyways, I'm gonna take my first bite. See, Robin, here it goes. Tastes like remora. Yeah, it tastes almost exactly like remora. It's okay. It's firm. It's not mushy like lizard fishes. Um, still has that weird kind of skunky flavor to it. But yeah, it's fine. It's edible. Uh, Probably won't keep anymore. There's tiny, easy enough to clean, but not really worth it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to uh, enjoy the rest of my uh, sea robin meal here. <laughs> All right, tight lines. Also, it looks like lizard fish meat.